Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the program called SMAT Studio. SMAT Studio is a free program that can be used as an alternative to MATCAD. But before we begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like and notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's begin. To download SMAT Studio, search SMAT Studio using your favorite browser. Click the download link to start downloading. Once the download is complete, go to the download folder and double click the icon to start installation. Follow the prompt until the installation is complete. I'm not going to proceed with the installation since I already have it on my computer. The SMAT Studio Interface The SMAT Studio Interface consists of the menu bar, toolbar, and the side panels. The menu bar and the toolbar are very similar to other Windows desktop applications, with the addition of other specific tools to SMAT Studio. The side panel on the other hand contains items to insert mathematical functions, symbols, and programming logic. I will show you how to use them as we go along with this tutorial. There are two types of constructing regions in ESMA Studio, the text region and the math region. The text region is used to enter text like sentences or description. On the other hand, the math region is used for entering formula or equations to perform calculations. There are two ways to enter text in SMA Studio. First is to press double quotation mark, then start typing your text. The other way is to just start typing, and once you press the spacebar, your input will be converted to text. Entering a new line of text in the text region can be done in two ways. First is by pressing the Enter key after the first line. The cursor will automatically move to the next line, then start typing the second line of text. The second method is by pressing Shift plus Enter after typing the first line of text. As in the first method, the cursor will automatically move to the next line, then start typing the next line of text. The difference between the two methods is that, in the first method, the two lines will become individual items in the worksheet. As you can see, you can select each of the line individually. In the second method, the two lines belong to one item. As you can see, when you drag your mouse to either of the lines, both are being selected as one item. You may format the text in two different ways. If you want to format the whole text, simply click the text, you don't need to highlight them, and perform the desired formatting. If you want to format only a portion of the text, simply highlight the portion you want formatted and perform the desired formatting. In the math region, you may assign value to a variable by typing the variable, then press the equals key 
and then enter the value you wish to assign to the variable. For example, if you wish to assign the value 5 to the variable x, simply type x equals 5, then press enter. When you press x followed by equal sign, SMAT Studio will give the value you assign to it, which is 5. You may also assign a new value to a variable by using the colon key instead of the equals key. SMAT Studio will automatically change the colon with equal sign and assign the new value you give to the variable. In the above example, where we initially assign 5 to x, if you type x colon 10, then press enter. Typing x equals will give us the new value of x, which is now 10, instead of 5. Here's another example. If we type a equals 3 and b equals 5, and then we type the formula c equals a times b, and then press equals, it will give us the product, which is 15. Then if we type a colon 4 and b colon 10, you will notice that the product automatically changes from 15 to 40. In the math region, we can easily perform calculations by assigning values to the variables, writing the formula, and asking for the answer. SMA Studio works from top to bottom and left to right. Let's say we want to calculate the current through a 10 ohm resistor with a voltage of 220 volts across it. From Ohm's law, current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. We assign the value of 220 to the variable V for voltage and 10 to the variable R for resistance. We then write the formula I is equal to V divided by R. SMA Studio will check if we have all the requirements to perform the calculations. That is, all variables are defined and values assigned and also the formula is written. It doesn't matter if the formula is written first before the variables are defined or the other way around. What is important is that the request for the answer is below all the variables and below or to the right of the formula. In this example, if we press equals to the right of the formula, we get the answer for the current because the request for the answer is below all the variables and to the right of the formula. Likewise, we can also get the value of current by typing I equals below the formula. Now, if we move the formula above the variables, the answer will still be displayed because the line requesting for the answer is below the variables and the formula. If we then remove the line to calculate the current and then type equals to the right of the formula above, it will produce an error because the request for the answer is above the variables. Aside from assigning new values to a variable, the colon key is also used in writing different formulas to calculate for the same quantity. Let's say for example above, we wish to calculate the power using the three formulas, that is, power in terms of voltage and current, power in terms of voltage and resistance, and finally, power in terms of current and resistance. First, let us use the formula P is equal to voltage times current. Type P equals V times I. Because we already have the values for V and I above, typing equals after the formula will give us the answer. Now, if we try to use a different formula, typing P equals again will simply give us the result of the previous calculation. However, if you type P colon, SMAT Studio will change the colon to equal sign unless you type in a different formula. Type V squared over R equals and get the answer. Let's try it again using another formula in terms of current and resistance. Type P colon I squared times R to get the answer. Raising a number to a power or getting the root of a number may be performed using keyboard or the side panel. In raising a number to any power using keyboard, simply type the number followed by the caret key. Type the desired exponent and then press enter. Example, in getting the square of a number 2, just type 2 caret 2 equals. Change the exponent to 3 to give us a cube of 2. In getting the square root of a number, press the backslash key followed by the number and then press equals. 
For example, type box slash 25 equals to get the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. In order to get the end root of a number, press control backslash, then the symbol for the end root will appear. Then enter the desired root of the number, and then enter the number. For example, to find the cube root of 64, type control backslash, then the symbol for end root appears. And then enter the desired root, enter the number inside the radical sign, and then press enter. This will give us a value of 4. You may also use the side panel to raise the number to any power or to get the end root of a number. Go to the side panel and click the symbol for raising a number to a power. Enter 4 for the base and followed by 2 for the exponent and then press equals. Next, click the symbol for end root. Enter 3 for the root and 64 for the number inside the radical sign, and then press equals. Entering subscript can be done by pressing the variable followed by period, and then the desired subscript. For example, type x.3 for x sub 3. Please note that subscript does not accept space. Use underscore instead. For example, voltage point no underscore load, and i dot short underscore circuit in order to write the correct mathematical expression you may need to use the arrow keys to position the insertion point to the correct place for example to write the expression y is equal to 2 to the x plus 3 properly type y equals 2 caret x Notice that the symbol that looks like a bracket in front of x and underlining the x only. Anything that you type next will be added to the character that is underlined, in this case, the x. Then, type plus 3. Repeat typing the expression, but this time, instead of typing 3 after the x, press the right arrow key once. You will notice that the bracket moves to cover both the 2 and the x and then type plus 3. Now, let us try typing the quadratic formula. Type x equals negative b, and then click the plus and minus sign in the side panel. Then type backslash b caret 2. Then press the right arrow key once, followed by negative 4 times a times c. Now, to divide the whole term by 2a, Press the right arrow key several times until the whole term is underlined. Then press forward slash 2 times A. That's it for this video about the basics of SMAT Studio.